Can I ask you what you identify as? Identify? Ethnic, ethnicity. I identify as an American. Not uh, an African American? Uh, uh, Are you African American? I didn't get elected into my position because of the color of my skin or do any, any race baiting stuff that it seems like you're promoting here. Oh, I'm promoting race baiting. I'm promoting race baiting. No, I think you're promoting privilege, tokenism. Gentlemen from St. Charles County, you have been inquired of by the lady from St. Louis County, Terry District. Do you yield? I do. Please proceed. Right. Afternoon, gentlemen. I inquired of you because I heard you say that there is equality, equal. You agree with this DEI bill? And what was your reason for what? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry, can you, can you rephrase your question? You said you were okay with the DEI and that there's an equal playing field. Did, did you say that? Yes, I, I did say that I'm okay with the uh, bill as it stands currently. And to address that there and to talk a little bit about it, it's because what it does is say that we're not in the business in state government of giving preferential treatment to certain groups and, and individuals. We, we treat everybody the same because we're all people under the law. And this is, it's the same concept as the, the 14th Amendment, for instance. Everybody was supposed to be equal and everything like that, but what, what, what essentially your, your argument's likely going to be here is that, no, it's not, it's, that nobody's equal and everything, and that's what it seems like you're probably trying to get at, if, you, if my understanding is. First of all, you said suppose. Use the word suppose. And so suppose means not exactly. Can I ask you what you identify as? Identify? Eth eth ethnicity? I identify as an American. Not uh, an African American? Uh, uh, Are you African American? Ladies and gentlemen, I will remind the body to remain poised with the quorum. There will be no celebrations. I probably have a daughter your age. And when you made that statement, I was a, a little appalled because there is no equality as of yet. You know, some people have privileges and you know, we can consider maybe privileges that people have and you, you may be getting that confused with equal but my daughter don't have those privileges. I was elected to my first office in 1999 in a 95% African American school district where the entire board was white. 1999, sir. Do you think that's equal? and our school district was 95% African-American. It took me 20 years, sir, to get into this building. And I had to fight to get here. Think that's equal? I think that you're given the same opportunity as anyone else in this building to get there. Well, just, it's, just, it's just as me. You I've are delusional if you think that, because that's not so. That's not that's not how life is going. That's the reason why we need these things implemented in some of these companies because there is not. How do you think it all came about, sir? It's not like that. We talk about transportation. Back in the day, Rosa Parks couldn't even. She had to ride in the back of the bus when I walked in this building. When I got elected to come into this building, I came into this building thinking that I was gonna work with individuals for the state of Missouri. 
I was so proud. It didn't matter what color we were. I just wanted to work with individuals to make a better state. And that has not happened. That's not equal, sir. That's not equal at all. I have some darn good bills. When I walked into the office of the speaker, they were made out of a joke. Good educational bill. I love children, all children. And I got good bills for those children. I sit on the education committee and none of my bills in three years, the same bills have yet to be heard. Anything I ask for, I have to beg for it. I applaud the young people on this side, all of them. They're very well educated. They're smart. They remind me a lot of them of myself. They have the energy that I had. But one thing I still got is the fight in me. But we have to fight for everything over here. We have to be humiliated every day. I had to take a walk to, to gather myself. To come back in here and continue with this. To be rushed out of the building. I'm hearing so people can go to a ball game. Well, the heck with that. Because we're here representing the state of Missouri, and we need to stay here until our work is done. Today, I want you to, I wish you could meet my daughter, since you say it's equal, and she has a master's degree. I'd be happy to and talk to your daughter. Yeah, I'm going to introduce you to my daughter, and I'm going to let, you, let her tell you how it's not equal on her job that she has a master's degree. And she has to work for individuals that don't have the same education that she has. Merely because she looks like me. That's not equal. Sometimes when people are so privileged, they want to think that equality and privilege is equal. It's not. I wonder what did it take for you, sir, to get elected out of St. Charles to sit in your seat? I want to hear that story. Yeah, I had to uh, work on my own merits and uh, pretty much promote the principles I believe in, which is freedom, equality for all, which I believe that America does. And that's how I got elected into my position. I didn't get elected into my position because of the color of my skin or doing any, any race baiting stuff that it seems like you're promoting here. Oh, I'm promoting race baiting? I'm promoting race baiting? No, I think you're promoting privilege, tokenism. I didn't, I didn't come from a privileged background. Oh, really? I, I grew up in St. Louis where, County where, where my mother- Where did you grow up at? Tell Over me that. In, in Overland is where I grew up. <laughs> And over oh, was in a was in a uh, uh, privileged family at all. Uh, my father passed when I was twelve. My mom raised me and three uh, two of my other brothers. Uh, she was lower lower income. I had to work my butt off to get where I am today. And to Jamar, you, lady, your time has expired.